A study of ISIS fighters concluded that almost all male and female fighters had in common some type of an absent father syndrome. Students coming from father-present families score higher in math and science, even when they come from weaker schools. Worldwide, the amount of time a father spends with a child is one of the strongest predictors of the child's ability to empathize as he gets older. Boys who are dad-deprived are more likely than their sisters to be unemployed. Father absence predicts the profile of both the bully and the bullied. Poor self-esteem, poor grades, and poor social skills. Children living with their married biological father, as opposed to a stepdad, did significantly better academically. They have fewer discipline problems and were more likely to complete high school, attend college, and graduate from college. By first grade, boys and girls raised in families with fathers present had significantly higher IQ scores than those in families where fathers were absent. A study of boys from similar backgrounds revealed that by the third grade, the boys with fathers present scored higher on every achievement test and received higher grades. Father involvement is at least five times as important in preventing drug use as closeness to parent, parental rules, parental trust, strictness, or a child's gender, ethnicity, or social class. Children aged 10 to 17 living with their biological parents were significantly less likely to experience sexual assault or child abuse compared to peers living in both single parent families and step families. Even when race, education, income, and other socioeconomic factors are equal, living without a dad doubles a child's chances of dropping out of high school. Roughhousing by dads helps regulate both male and female toddler's aggression, but especially helps a boy toddler control his testosterone-induced aggression by imprinting his left brain circuits. Boys living with dads have better enforced boundaries, leading to better impulse control and fewer discipline problems. When dad deprived boys are employed, they are less likely to succeed as professionals. Boys who do not live with their dads become both more demanding and coercive towards their moms. Adolescents with minimal or no father involvement account for 71% of high school dropouts. They are also more likely to skip school and in addition to dropping out, be expelled. Around 90% of homeless and runaway youths are from fatherless homes. Among preschool children admitted as psychiatric patients in two New Orleans hospitals, 80% came from homes without fathers. Similar percentages emerge among dad-deprived children in Canada, South Africa, and Finland at ages from preschool through high school. Children with father loss have, by the age of nine, a 14% reduction in telomere length, the most reliable predictor of life expectancy. In addition, telomere loss is 40% greater for boys than for girls. The more frequently a father visits the hospital of an infant who is born prematurely, the more quickly the infant is released from the hospital and the better the infant's social personal development and ability to adapt. Living in a home without a dad has a greater correlation with suicide among teenagers than any other factor. Dads tend to be the one to enforce boundaries and toddlers whose dads set limits and enforced boundaries as the children explored had better social and emotional skills 12 to 18 months later. Both boys and girls suffer after their parents divorce, but the greatest feelings of deprivation and depressive behavior are observed among boys. Every 1% increase in fatherlessness in a neighborhood predicts a 3% increase in adolescent violence. Children between the ages of 10 and 17 living without their biological fathers are more likely to be victims of child abuse, major violence, sexual assault, and domestic violence. Absence of dad contributes to violent crimes as much as absence of income. Children aged 10 to 17 living with their biological parents were less likely to witness violence in their families compared to peers living in both single parent families and step families. Dad deprivation increases the likelihood of teenage motherhood. The more interaction a boy has with his dad before six months of age, the higher his mental competence. Children who were born poor and raised by both married parents had an 80% chance of moving to the middle class or above. Conversely, children who were born into the middle class and raised without a married dad were almost four times as likely to end up considerably poorer. Among youth in prison, 85% grew up in a fatherless home. The more contact children have with their dads growing up, the more easily they make open, receptive, and trusting contact with new people in their lives. And the more contact an infant has prior to six months of age, the greater the infant's ability to trust.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know, I really think it's important say that we start talking about I'm going to say it later. Say the line. This isn't the part where I say, say it. I'm going to say it later. He's not going to say the line. I'm He's not going to say the I'm line. I'm saying the line, but not right now. It's really important to start to make every stop. Just say the line. Darth Vader didn't have a dad. That probably came out better. That looks like we